So High List is our smoothing system. It's going to give you three months of results in the hair from mouth high free, no fumes, no harsh smells. There's no restrictions also. You can do it on somebody who's pregnant, somebody who's breastfeeding, a young child. You don't have to be by the door, by the windows. You don't have to open up the whole salon because you're not going to get those crazy fumes all over the place. So it's like the keratin treatment, is that what you're saying? It's it would be similar, yes. It, it's our smoothing system. They don't like to say keratin because people associate that with formaldehyde. Since it's a formaldehyde-free product, we just call it a smoothing system. But essentially, it's going to be smoothing the hair and reducing volume up to 80%. And then you're going to be frizz-free for the three months. Then the wand is essentially the same product just with the violet pigment in it. Right there. So you like to be called Miss Anna, right? Miss Anna? Yeah, Anna. Yeah. <laughs> so that's, that's the, the, that's the, the violet pigment in it. Now you shouldn't do this after a color treatment? Uh -huh. Miss, you should wait two weeks before or after coloring. Two weeks before or after? Yes. So it doesn't matter which one you want to do first. Weeks, right? Then you just wait two weeks in between. So let's see. So first, we're going to have to clarify your hair. Um, we actually have a really nice clarifying shampoo, which you guys are going to see, um, where it doesn't mat up the hair. So there's a high gloss technology to it, so it's actually combable afterwards. So you're not going to mat up your client's hair and make them feel uncomfortable when you're trying to tug at it and detangle that. So. somebody's overly blonde and you're worried about it turning more of a silvery tone, you can kind of dilute the violet pigment in it and mix it up with the clear one. And you can alternate however you'd like because they're the same formula. The only difference is that extra pigment in there. Okay. Yeah. And then so we're going to talk uh, we're going to talk it through, but let's say somebody with fine hair, somebody with processed hair, you're going to gauge how smooth you want the client's hair to be. And depending on what their starting point is, that's how you're going to determine how long you're going to leave the product on for and how high of a heat you're going to use when you're flat ironing afterwards. So the eyelids, you clarify first, then you're going to rinse that out, blow dry the hair completely, apply the eyelids a quarter of an inch away from the scalp, saturate it mid length to ends, let it sit anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour. So if somebody has very coarse, very resistant hair, it can be an hour. If they have extremely resistant hair, you can put them under a dryer for half of the processing time. So if they're going to be sitting there for an hour, you can do the first 30 minutes in a dryer and then the last 30 minutes out of the dryer. Then you're going to end up rinsing, rinsing the product out completely. You're not going to leave any residue left in the hair. Then you're going to bring them back to the chair, blow dry 100%. You're going to spray the amino into the hair, which is our thermal protectant. And then you're going to do your flat iron. For somebody with fine hair, chemically processed hair, three to five passes on a low heat, anything from 300 to 350. Somebody with much coarser hair, thicker hair, more resistant hair, you can do eight to 10 passes on a heat of anywhere from 400 to 420, anything around there. Okay, let me back up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Clarify shampoo, mm -hmm. dry completely, mm -hmm. that's just dry. Just dry, dry. yep. Dry hair, saturated, uh, 30 to 40 minutes, mm -hmm. um, rinse completely. Yep. Dry. There you go. Yep. That's it. They don't have any downtime. You're already rinsing the product out of their hair that day, so they can go home. They can wash their hair again if they want. They can clip their hair, tie their hair, whatever they want to do. There's no restrictions afterwards. You say how many passes? If somebody has fine hair, three to five passes. If you just, even if somebody has curly hair and you just want to reduce the frizz. You just do three to five passes, and it's going to take that frizz away without taking away their curl pattern. And then every time you go to do this, you're going to do the whole head all over, all over again. Okay? And is your steam iron? Is that no, I do flat iron. Yep. The steam iron, that one is for a reconstructive treatment. 
So we can explain that as well. We can go through that. Um, yeah, that's learning to do. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. And they released new products that I have with me, and you guys are going to love this. Um, I'm going to pass some things around. There's lots of things to smell. Everything smells really good. And so this one here is the amino spray. This is your thermal protectant spray. I spray this on every single client as a leave-in with the deluxe front. <coughs> However, for the pilot treatment, this is a product that you're going to be using. So spray this on the back of your hand. Traveling with it. <laughs> it's very light. It smells really good. All of my clients, every time I spray this in, they're like, what was that? <laughs> they all want to take it home, try it. Oh, you use it for a You can use it on anybody's hair. Yep. The highlights can be um, used with any other chemical processes as well. So what's the difference between that and the other? The deluxe prime? Yeah. So the deluxe prime, this is a multi-use protein spray. So I use this as a leave-in. When I'm using it as a leave-in, it's going to help with the elasticity of the hair. It's going to nourish the hair. It's going to protect the hair, add a lot of shine. This is your thermal protectant. So I use the both of them together. This one's going to help so with detangling. No, no thermal protecting in this one. So this one would be your thermal protectant. I spray the both of them in literally everybody's hair. If it doesn't weigh down the hair, you could do it on anybody. And clients love these. You can take them home. Especially if you're down here in Florida, when you're going to the beach, when you're going into the pool, kids' hair is very fine. This is amazing for them to be able to detangle their kids' hair as well. That's a thermal no, no. I mean, no. What yep. is the other one, the detangle? Um, I mean, Deluxe or... Prime. Yeah, that's totally fine. We're going to, we can go over it however many times you guys need. It's a lot of stuff. It's not a retail product. Yes, you can retail. Oh, you can yep, retail that? Yep, you can retail that one. I retail both of these to my clients. Yeah, I gotta dry you. The deluxe dryer. Have to dry her, right? Yes. Oh, okay. Like with the brush or just no, air dryer? Just blow dry. Right. Just blow dry. Um, so let's see. The deluxe prime. This is actually our number one seller in Brazil and America. This is an amazing multi use tool. So, deluxe prime, you can use it in the salon in many ways. You can use it and mix it up with your treatments. We have many treatments to use behind the bowl. And this is amazing for you to detangle when you do any teasing lines. If you tease the hair before you balayage or before you highlight. This is amazing to detangle that stuff. So, yeah, before I started using nice this, my clients used to suffer. They used to sit there for half an hour and literally cry and be like, I don't want this anymore. But now they don't go through that uh, because of this great product. So, you can also use this as a cutting lotion or when you're doing any balayage or highlights. If a piece is already processed, remove the excess of whitener, spray the deluxe prime directly onto the hair. It's going to balance the pH and make the whitener stop working. So, that is a great tool for that. Even when I use it to stop the process of lightening, I'll use it to mix it in with my treatments. And then I'll use it as a leave-in, it's still not weighing down the hair. This, you can compare it to something like the number two of Olaplex. However, this will never over-protonize the hair. So Olaplex can build up on the hair over time, this will not. This is going to rinse out of the hair every time. So you can use this as your daily leave-in and there's not going to be any issues with that. Then the Deluxe Prime also comes in colors, which one of them looks like it exploded in my bag, but that's okay, that's why we're going to tell it with me. <laughs> so, the Deluxe Prime, so the Deluxe Prime also comes in colors. These are your toners. It comes in a violet. This is like a blue-violet tone. So you can tone your blondes. They all smell really good as well. I just don't want to pass it around if it exploded because you're going to get it all over yourself. So we have a violet, we have a stain. This, no, once it gets on your hands, it'll come right out. So these toners will last five washes in the hair as well. Five washes? Yes, five washes. So that one's the honey blonde. Then we have a marsala red, a copper. We have a cool tone tone brunette and a warm tone brunette. Yeah, that's pretty, isn't it? I'm not calling that red. Launch that red. Can you use that red as a filler? Yes, you certainly can. So. Ooh, that would better look good. Yeah, the cat. Good job. I have it. Okay. 
It's a lot of stuff. Because we only have three of them. Oh, we the have the We have the golden shoe. I didn't say that. Now, the blonde you can't use right after a highlight, right? Yes, you can use these right after a highlight surface. Um, so, you can tone it with, you can use these to tone your clients. Um, so, none of these, none of the pigments you're going to want to leave into the hair because there are the pigments in there that can obviously accumulate over time. However, our purple one is really great. I like to use this in the salon instead of using a purple shampoo because purple shampoos have metallics and oxidants in it and they will build up and dry out the hair. This will never do that for you. So this is really great. This works really quickly as well. You spray through the hair on wet hair and you watch it. <laughs> it's going to work quickly. And if it does turn a little bit more silvery or a little bit more purple, you can just shampoo it out. It's going to take that right out. If you notice that during the blow dry, if you just flat iron over that piece, it'll come right out as well. So when you use this, do you you shampoo it afterward no matter what? Um, I or just after. Just if you have too much silver. Oh yeah, only if you have too much silver. Oh. If you just, okay. what I do is I will shampoo the hair, <coughs> then I'll spray it all the way through, and then I'll watch it, then I'll rinse it out, condition, and take them back to the chair to blow out their hair. That's it. So you can use the Honey Blonde. The purple is much more concentrated. It has a lot more pigment in it. The Honey Blonde is much more opaque. So this is free as a filler. You can use it as a pre-toner or as a toner. This gives you a beautiful, nice, warm, balanced, sunny blonde. And who's the ideal client for this Honey Blonde? So anybody who wants more of that sunny balayage, more of that sun-kissed look, something more natural, something with more warm, some golden tones in there, that okay. would be the ideal client for the Honey Blonde. You can just rinse them like... Yep, you can just rinse it out, and then I like to condition it with the step three of the batch repair system, which we'll talk about, um, just to really close that cuticle and give a lot of shine. So what if you put that on some color? So it's very opaque. It's going, it's going to warm it up a little bit, but you're a lot more icy right now. Um, it can kind of fill in your hair a little bit, but it's not going to make a crazy difference. Uh -huh. um, Get a paper towel. I can show you guys. Now, spray can you? I heard something. Can you spray like colors processing? Something yes, like this. Yes, you also can. So, um, when I'm doing any root touch-ups, I we have this one client who she comes in, she gets like a level six root touch-up. By the time she comes back, her ends up like a level eight because they're just so porous, it just comes right out. Thank you. Over time. So, what I like to do is while her root touch-up is processing. I will apply the full chestnut brown all over her mid length and ends on dry hair. And once you rinse that all out, it looks like a nice even shade. It is this so beautiful. It is so beautiful. So these can also be retail to your clients as retail, as retail products, as color refreshers for them to use once a week at home. So let's say redheads. <laughs> you know how it is to retouch that red. I had bright red for a while. It's the worst thing to have to touch it up every two weeks in the salon. So if I had this product, I would have to do that. You can use this once a week at home. You just spray it through after you shampoo your hair. Let it sit for five, ten minutes. Rinse that condition, and you're good to go. Your color is nice and refreshed. However, it's not taking your client out of your chair because in a month, they still have roots. They have to come back no matter what. And they're going to be coming back for other services.
violet, then there is the Marsala red, there's the copper warm tone brunette, and the cool tone brunette. So you guys can see how much more pigmented the other colors are in comparison to the honey blonde. So it's going to give you much less or much greater of a result doing it this way. Those are all the colors you have that day? I yes. have had three of those. Okay. <laughs> and then we have the clear as well. So these are the pigmented versions of the deluxe prime spray that we're going over now. You can see how opaque the tone are. So these again can be used as color refreshers both in the salon and at home. But you want to make sure that your clients are not leaving these in. The clear one can be left in. Can you, can you use that with the Lipidic? 
Yeah, you can certainly do treatments after this one. This one's a shampoo on its own. On However, its own. you can follow up with some of the other treatments that we have as well. Can I open? Yeah, of course. Yeah, and that smells good. Everything smells mm -hmm. good. And that's another thing that it doesn't yes. roughen up the hair. So I will apply that shampoo, let them sit, even five, ten minutes, whatever you feel is necessary. Bring them back to your chair, and you can just go ahead and comb right through it. It feels like you shampooed and conditioned their hair. It's amazing. And you would think, since it's removing all this buildup off of their hair, it's really going to roughen it up. Not one bit. I love this thing. It's one of the new release products, and that's probably the smartest thing ever. <laughs> So we're going to carry on. Is her and then she's drying on. Yeah. Go we'll see. Okay. Yeah. I'm still a little wet. <laughs> <bit. laughs> the back is a little bit damp in between. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. We heard it. Come on. Yeah. We just did. Just dry the back. I don't want to make so much noise. So I can hear you. <laughs> okay, so I'll try to talk louder. Don't even need to use a toner, so I absolutely love both of the liners. 
Okay. Then another very important part. The developer? Mm -hmm. <coughs> um, you can use any professional quality developer with our lighters and with our colors as well. We do have developers in Brazil. In Brazil, we have over 600 products, but we've also been there for 18 years. Here, we've been here for about four years. So products are coming over slowly, um, but it was tested with many other professional developers. So you guys can use whatever you're already using in the salon. Um, Level-wise, I always stick to around 20 volume when I'm doing my balayage or highlights. Only when my Asian clients come in that they have much darker, much coarser hair, I'll use 30 volume, but I always like to stick to 20 volume. Uh, what was the mixing ratio? So the blank blonde is a one to two, and the Air Libre is a one to one and a half mixing ratio. However, I like both of them at a one to two. But of course, that's going to be up to you. It's going to be however you guys are used to using your current like this, whatever thickness, whatever. Yeah, whatever you like to apply it with. And both so, of them you can use open air. Yes, you so can. So what's really the difference? Just the one has the blue base? It has the blue base and it doesn't have the collagen in it. So that okay. one and it's a progressive lighter. So it's going it says seven levels, but it's going to continue working after those seven levels where the air libre will not. Okay. Okay. And the air libre is definitely more gentle on the hair. So if I have somebody who comes in and they have a dark regrowth and that they they're one of those girls who I have a lot of Latin, Latina clients, so they like to go super bright blonde, and then their roots are super dark. So I will do the blank blonde just on their roots, and if they need to be cleaned up a little bit on the ends, I'll do the air leave right on at the ends because it's much more gentle. Hmm. This right here is our bond protector. It's called eight times powder. You can pass it around. You guys can smell it. That one's like at the end. That's why it's it's usually full. <laughs> so it smells really good. It smells kind of like a clay. This one is your bond protector in a powder form. So you will mix one scoop of that into your lightener formula. If you are using a full scoop of lightener, you will use a full scoop of the 8 times powder. You guys can see the difference in the scoops in there. Um, this is a 2 ounce scoop of lightener. So since I like it at a 1 to 2 mixing ratio, that's going to give me 6 ounces of lightener. That's a lot of lightener. You don't always need that. So with the 8 times powder, many times I will use half a scoop of this and half a scoop of the 8 times powder. So that's still 3 ounces of lightener at that point. So that is still quite a bit. <laughs> is, is that the one that has the beeswax? Yes. So the 8 times powder is a beeswax extract base. And what that does is it encapsulates the lightener and it drives it directly to the melanin of the hair. So this will protect the cuticle layer of the hair while making your lightener work faster at the same time. They call it your guardian angel. <laughs> yes. They do. They call it the guardian angel. This thing yeah. is absolutely yeah. amazing. So you don't have to increase your processing time. It's actually going to help decrease your processing time. Um, it's going to help reduce any swelling or heating in your foils. So it's just absolutely amazing. You can also mix the a times powder into your colors. It's going to help provide longevity to your colors, making sure that they don't fade, and it's going to add a lot of shine as well. So if you're using a full scoop of this, you're going to use a full scoop of this. You guys can see the difference right there. How much would you put in the color? So if you're going to, it's going to depend on how big of a tube it is. If you're using a full tube of color, which this one says a two ounce or 60 grams of color, you would use a full scoop of the eight times powder. So if you're using an ounce of color, you can use half of a scoop as well.